Hey YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so it's been quite a while since my last video. Um, I really didn't even know if I was going to keep making them. <clears throat> um, you know, but then I actually looked at my, my profile. I saw that, you know, I do have 19 or something subscribers and that kind of motivated me to make this video. So, um, here I am. Now, it's been a while since my last video. I know, I'm sorry, really, I am. Um, I wish that, you know, I had more time and passion really to make the videos. It's just, you know, I don't know. But I'm going to try to keep making them for you guys. So here's my uh, attempt to stay on YouTube. Um, I picked up so many fucking games since my last video. It's ridiculous. I'm going to try to get them all in on this video, explain a little bit about why I bought what and, you know, all that good stuff. I only have a few minutes before my friends get here. So I'm going to try to fit all this in as fast as possible. Um, I'll start with the games and then we'll move on to the big boys. And we'll take it from there. First thing I picked up since my last video is this. I got it for 30 bucks. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the PS2. Manual game. One thing to note about this game is... If I can get it out. It is blue disc bottom. So, that's a good thing to know. Because I have heard rumors, I don't know if they're true, that uh, Sony made these blue discs and then... They were ha having problems reading some lasers, whatever, so they stopped making them. So there's only a select few games that are actually blue bottoms. This happens to be one of them, so make a note of that. It's a great game. I have it for pretty much every system except the Xbox. If I see that, I'll pick it up, but I honestly don't like Microsoft, so not really that big of a deal. But I do have it for the Dreamcast and the PS2. So second game I picked up was Grandia, which is an RPG, which is one of my favorite types of games. That character is just really cool looking, so, you know, just figured I'd show you that. This is um, a game that was recommended to me by a friend of mine that's more into RPGs than I am. Um, I heard of this game, obviously. It's, it's on the Dreamcast 2, a different one. I think it's Grandia 2 or 3 or something like that, but <clears throat> um, I never got into the Grandia series, so I saw this for $29.99 at the video game store, so I picked it out. Now, the case didn't come this clean. I had to switch it out with another case which is usually what I do with all my games but uh... you know, whatever came out pretty nice moving on I got uh... Shining Wisdom for the Sega Saturn this is missing the back but it does have the manual and the game's in pretty much mint condition with the sponge or whatever so that was nice one thing to note um, I don't know if this this one actually has it but I don't think it does actually one thing to note about all Working Designs games, um, you can tell it's Working Designs because of the Working Designs logo, is every Working Designs game made for the Saturn or the Sega CD came with a registration card. Now, this game is missing the registration card. As you can see right here, it's, it's folded out. It's t torn out. Um, that registration card is, is crucial for collectors' uh, resale value, in my opinion. So, I got this for like $24 without the registration card, so, you know, it's not that big of a deal to me, but... I would much rather, and plus it was missing the back anyway, so I didn't really care, but, you know, whatever. I'm going to have to move on here because I'm not going to make it 10 minutes. Albert Odyssey, another working designs title, Sega Saturn. This one's complete mint. This one came with, uh, let's see if I can show you. I don't know if I showed this in my last video. I might have. I don't remember. came with this, uh, you know, thing where you can order stuff, posters or whatnot. And this one actually does have the registration card, so this was a good find. This one was uh, 50 so that cost me a pretty penny, but like I said, well worth it. Moving on, this might have to be a two-part video. Um, Battle Arena, a Brave Fencer Musashi, I'm sorry. This is another RPG made by Squaresoft. It's an action RPG. Very, very fun game. I remember it as a kid. That's the reason I picked it up, uh, you know, so I definitely recommend that. This was given to me um, from a friend that I do repairs for. He runs a garage set. He not a garage sale. Um, he goes. He has a, a video game stand at the local flea market on the weekend. So I met him just by going to his stand all the time. And um, he actually uh, has. He had a lot of broken stuff. So he gave me like ten PS2s to fix, a few Nintendos, um, some Xbox ones, and uh, I fixed pretty much all of it. And then he hooked me up with. Uh, two PS2's uh, for free which was cool so I got a, a fat and a slim PS2 absolutely for free I'll show them uh, if I have time but I'm sure you know what a PS2 looks like but the reason I'm talking about this game is because if you look close it says that Tomba 2's in here now 
Tomba, the Tomba 1 and Tomba 2 games are, are, in my opinion, rare and hard to find. More Tomba 1 than Tomba 2, but I never played either, so I was really happy for him to give me this demo so I could at least get a feel for Tomba to see if I want to put up the money for the real deal. Next thing I picked up was Castlevania Greatest Hits, Symphony of the Night. This was uh, 25 bucks, mint condition. Um, great game. I highly recommend it. I definitely recommend the regular black label version if you could find it, obviously. But um, if you can't, you know, and you want to just get your game on, find this one. Next game I picked up was this, Breath of Fire 4, made by Capcom. It's another RPG. Um, RPGs are pretty much my favorite, so, you know, it's not no surprise. Now, the artwork in this game is phenomenal. Capcom always does a great job with their character design, so, you know, this was another one I remember as a kid, so that's why I picked it up. Now this I saw for $9.99. I was amazed that it was only $9.99. I actually felt bad buying it for only $9.99. I don't know if it's worth more, but it's in mint. It's beautiful. It's Mega Man Legends for the PlayStation 1. It's another RPG, ARPG, sort of. Um, I really don't know much about this game. I just know what people told me. I never played it as a kid, um, but someday soon I hope I can get into that and give you a review. And the final game I picked up, uh, well, other than one other one I'm going to show you in a minute, but last one I picked up was Chrono Cross for, by another RPG made by Squaresoft. Great find. This one, the price tag's still on it. You can see right there. Digital Press Video Games, $15.99. Great deal. Great game. Alright, I got four minutes left. Four minutes, a few minutes less than that. Alright, so let's move on. Um, I picked this up, which was amazing. I'm so happy about this. And that's the PC Engine Duo R boxed with the manual and everything this thing came from japan from my boy i made a few friends out there which was really which is really cool i'm really happy about that um i got it with the box manual this is what the system actually looks like it's the same thing as the duo the pc you know duo except this one was released a little later it's white um it's the same thing as the pc duo r if you know what that is same thing, you know, except for the buttons are, you know, white instead of blue or whatever. The controller's a little different. Now, what this does is it plays PC Engine games and Super CD-ROM games all in one unit. Uh, and that's basically all it does. It's pretty rare, in my opinion. I love it. I'm happy I was I had the opportunity to buy this. Um, two, I don't know, 230 I'd say I paid for that shipped, which... And I don't think it's a bad deal, so even if it is, I don't care. So I really like PC Engine, they're my favorite. Um, moving on, I got this. The PC Engine Super Graphics. This is the same thing as the regular PC Engine, except it has better video quality, so, um, you know, they made only six Super Graphic games for it because it was such a flop, but Ghosts and Ghouls, Ghouls and Ghosts was one of those games, and it's supposedly the best port of that game. Um, but all it does is it plays... Uh, hue cards, but then you can also get the CD add-on, which is this right here. See, and now now you can put these together, like so, like that. Now you can play PC Engine and Super CD ROM games and Super Graphic games all in one unit. Now this is basically the same thing as this, except it's just kind of a different way of doing it. Um. And again, you get to play the six PC Engine games that, the super graphic games that were especially made for this. Not that I have any right now to talk about, but, you know, it's still a great find. Um, I didn't get that stuff boxed, I just found it uh, loose. But um, I paid 125 150 for the Super CD-ROM, and I paid only $69 for the super graphics. So that was a great find. Coming on a minute here, so I don't have much time. Um... Here's the PlayStation 2 that I got for free for fixing. And here's the PS2 Slim that I got. I'm going to mod one of them. And the final thing I found at a garage sale for $5 to end the garage sale, to end the video, is a ColecoVision with the controllers and the system, all the hookups. And not only that, but it came with like eight games. All of them are common except this game, which I believe is rare and hard to find. And that's Jungle Hunt for the ColecoVision. I'm probably going to put the ColecoVision and Jungle Hunt up for sale on eBay because I'm not really into anything pre-NES because I'm not that young. I mean, not that old. But who knows? Maybe I'll keep it. Um, we only have a few seconds left, so let me just thank everyone that uh, watches my videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.